Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We are going to continue along the series of building your dream house in Jamaica and we are sort of going to move away a little bit from talking about things like materials and techniques and so on and we are going to talk instead about tools. One of the things that we tend to do in Jamaica is to stick to the things we know. If it's not something that we are accustomed to then we just leave it alone. But here is the fact. These are modern times and the technology changes, techniques changes and the ability to do work faster changes and time is money. Now I understand and this is one of the issues I generally have in Jamaica is that there is no urgency usually to do things and people tend to look at change as something that they should avoid. But if you are going to move into the modern era, into modern way of doing things, then we're just going to have to just embrace the changes as they come along. And one of the changes that has come along is in tools. You know, no longer is it really necessary for you to use all those older tools that have been used for hundreds of years because there are newer more modern tools that are invented that have been invented over the years or perfected or have just changed as the years go by because the technology itself has become more modern has become better and there are things that you can do to make the work one easier and two faster and as a result of that most tradesmen could in fact if they were to invest in these tools make a whole lot more money could be more profitable but sometimes it's because they really do not know that these tools exist sometimes people think that the tools will make them work faster and therefore take away from the value of what they're doing so we are going to talk about a few of those tools today and the first one we are going to talk about is rendering generally speaking when you're rendering a house it is a long involved process and quite frankly from my point of view is one of the worst things you can do so you're going to have to mix some mortar it's going to be in a thick paste you're going to put that on your plastering board and then you're going to use your trowel to slap it onto the wall smooth it out and uh, with a trowel or with a float then they put a little bit more again and they smooth that out with the float and then they keep on going so a wall that is say maybe about 10 feet by 9 feet is going to take you something like an entire day and a half to do as i said time is money so taking a whole day and a half to do something that theoretically could take you a half an hour is really out of the question. In this series what I have been doing, I have been mostly catering or sort of more or less going toward do-it-yourself kind of person. So many of the techniques and the building materials and the newer way of doing things, yes they are catered to the tradesperson to let you know that there is an easier way to do it but they are also catered to the busy person because this is building your dream house in Jamaica. So it is catered to the busy person who has taken some time off from the job that he has abroad usually to come down to Jamaica to do some work on his house and so you want to maximize that time that you have so it is best to have construction tools and construction techniques that will maximize that time so with that in mind we're going to look at some tools and the first one we are going to look at is how you plaster a wall there is actually a much easier way to do this this is called a plastering machine and as you can see from the picture here it is a very simple tool as you can see you blow the plaster onto the wall using high pressure air. You are going to need in addition to this however a fairly large compressor and that is the only downside to it. But if you are a tradesperson and plastering walls is what you do, uh, there are a lot of masons in Jamaica whose only job it is is to finish walls. Uh, they don't do anything else. It would be wise to invest in such a tool and uh, having invested in your plastering machine and your compressor, the only thing you need is to plug the thing in, mix your mortar, spray it on the wall, screed it and then Bob's your uncle as they say abroad. Now if you're just a guy making up your own house and you just have a couple of weeks to do what you're doing then it makes sense for you to buy such a thing and if you are living in the States or Canada or even England it is not very hard to get a second hand tool of that nature especially a second hand compressor. Throw the darn thing in, the, in a box and send it to Jamaica. You can get one for $50 if you live in the States or Canada for example you can get a decent enough compressor for something around $100, $120 if you live in the States or Canada again a good one depending on the size and the machines usually cost between 70 something dollars you can even get them for $50 depending on the quality that you want or you can get what they go up to two three hundred dollars they are other sort of fancy professional machines that go up to thousands of dollars but that is not something that you're going to 
want as the do-it-yourselfer because you want to build your house as cheaply as possible so you're going to have money left over for all the other luxury items that you are going to want to put in your house so the cheaper you can actually build up the structure is the more disposable income you're going to have the other tool that is also available in terms of finishing your wall is your electric trowel your electric trowel or your powered trowel as it is sometimes called is as exactly as the name says it's power so you don't have to be using a whole lot of arm strength and a whole lot of manual labor to be rubbing the thing against the wall to get it smooth it is a trowel it spins essentially it's a small float that spins in the manner that you see it's doing right now and you simply use it to smooth your wall and that is the basis of it and it makes life a whole lot easier it reduces the labor expenditure and it saves a lot of time so it is a great tool to have all right and in talking about concrete there is an essential tool that every person who as a professional concrete person professional mason the guy who generally do all those slab roofs and do all of those columns and all that. there is one tool that you absolutely need to have in this modern day of making concrete and that is a concrete vibrator you can get them in two types they come in ear operated or they come in electrical operated and if you're going to be doing concrete these days you absolutely need to have one of those tools they are again very cheap uh, me personally I i'm cheap i won't lie to you i like to buy things cheap i am not one of those guys who boast about how much my things cost in terms of why i pay six thousand dollars for it ah uh, no from me personally if i can pay a dollar for the thing that is what i'm going to pay and if i can get it used and it is in good condition that is what i am going to do so my advice is check out all of these kinds of tools you can get a used concrete vibrator for like thirty dollars us if you have a bridge in abroad who said why you just call him up and say yo you can't send the money go get him and make him buy the thing for you when i come down i'm over bridge and i come down him send it come gear a lot of these tools that i'm talking about you can get them second hand because there are a lot of people a lot of do-it-yourselfers who will buy a tool use it for the purpose and then they will have it sitting there they have no further use for it and so they will sell it the thing is pretty much brand new so there is no shame in buying used tools and using them and, and using the life out of them until they are done so yeah those are some of the tools that you can use there's one more tool that I would like to point out. It's a paint sprayer. As I have said repeatedly, I am lazy. I do not see any reason why I should do anything harder than it needs to be done. So when I saw that there was an actual tool that I can use to paint houses, I jump on it. First thing I do, I buy the time that you take to paint one house by hand. You could have sprayed 20 houses in that time and done them just as good or better. So anybody who wants to paint his own house a small painter a small sprayer won't cost you a lot of money buy a sprayer spray your own house when you're done with the sprayer you sell it back so you will have done your own work used it for the intended purpose and then you would have made back some money on it because i mean let's face it you buy the thing for a thousand dollars you use it you're probably going to sell it back for five hundred dollars as an example so you would have made back a little bit of money on it so yeah a sprayer paint sprayer is one of the best investment that any paint in Jamaica could invest in right now. There's a tool that is not generally used in Jamaica. It is not very common and it is very, very cheap. And that is a laser level. Now, if you're marking out your foundation in any and any terrain whatsoever, generally how people do this, they calculate the corners, they calculate where they are going to put the house and then they run a line and all that sort of thing. Oh, well, that's all well and good. That's a tried and true method that has been around for i guess thousands of years they probably marked out the pyramids that way uh well for sure the egyptians used it now we know the egyptians didn't build the pyramid but that's a different story that's a different story anyhow the point i'm making is that the method of marking out squares and catching foundations and catching your elevations has been around for thousands of years it hasn't changed again the issue with that sort of method your three four five method or your or their protractor 
method or your string method and all of those other kinds of methods is that they are labor intensive and it takes a certain amount of dedication and experience to get them accurately done but a laser level is dead simple you turn the thing on it goes at a 90 degree angle it's self leveling and it catches elevations pretty much by itself so you want to find the highest elevation on your plot you just stick the laser level right there and you put your receptor in a line with it it marks out your 90 degree angles you don't have to guess you don't have to spell and of course many laser levels also come with a distance finder so you simply stick your laser level up there you put your receptor at the correct spot and you move it until you get it to exactly what distance you want so you can mark out your foundations you want that room 10 foot by 10 foot you simply use your laser level it tells you what your distances are tells you what directions north south east and west it tells you how level the area is and it gives you your elevation and it is a dead simple tool if you are a contractor and your job is to mark out foundations basically day in day out then there's absolutely no way you should be without a laser level it is a an absolute necessity in these modern times it is going to save you time it is going to increase your accuracy and therefore your productivity okay so finally we're going to talk about a screed many times when you're doing large batches of concrete something like a slab roof or a decking or a slab on ground or something like that a big wide expanse of concrete you need to screed it you need to get it flat and uh, it is a time-consuming very labor intensive process when you're going to get a large piece of board and go across by hand and screed it it takes a long time sometimes the concrete even begin to set up before you get the thing properly and of course you know it's hard it's it's hard it's back breaking work and there is a much 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 easier way to do it and that is called a mechanical screed as you can see all it is is a white metal screed and it's attached to a vibrating motor the motor can either be electrically operated or it can be pneumatic it's a labor saving tool it saves you hours of back breaking work so yeah now there are many many other tools that you can use you know but as I said this is just an introduction to all the possibilities out there the labor saving possibilities out there and uh, these are some basic things and they will help you to get your job done as quickly as possible so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos and you all have a good day